Hi guys, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you're watching this after it's already streamed. So please don't ask any questions if you're watching this on YouTube. But if you're watching this live with me, feel free to answer, um, to ask me questions and I will answer them. And I'm so excited to hang out with you guys. I'm just looking to get warmed up. As you can tell, my brain's a little foggy. I just did a little bit of meditation, but I'm ready to interact with you guys and get my juices flowing because I have a lot of love readings to do today. <laughs> so this card is saying that we're all kind of at this point right now where the clouds of confusion are parting and we're gaining our strength and we're kind of looking ahead to see what's next. The hawk is a sign of opportunity. It might even be an opportunity for us in our career that's coming in the near future. So that's exciting. I definitely hope so. I'm ready for some opportunities. What's up, you guys? How's it going? Okay, Olive Poppy, what should be your next move in your marriage? The next move for you in your marriage for Olive Poppy. They're saying honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So they're saying maybe it's time that you guys take a vacation, maybe even go travel over to Europe if that's something you guys have been wanting to do or just travel abroad or something. Um, and then they're saying let your friends help you. Like maybe you guys, your relationship's been too exclusive lately and they're saying time, spending time with your friends and in, with other people is actually going to help bring more fun and more romance into your relationship and more excitement and more opportunities. So in short, traveling and spending time with your friends, it just seems like you need to like broaden your horizons and bring a little bit more excitement and energy into the relationship. So I hope that that helps all of Poppy. What's going, guys? Okay, Talita. You and your ex-boyfriend stop talking. When will you get back to uh will you get back together? So Talita, you and your ex-boyfriend stop talking. Will you get back together? Hmm. I'm seeing the romantic feelings card reversed. So it's making me wonder like is are these feelings in the relationship just kind of dwindling? Let's pull some more cards. Here. Yeah. Oh, Talita. Talita. I'm going to be honest with you. They're saying release your ex. And it's like he's moving on. So they're telling you to release him. And I'm just going to be real with you. You guys know that I'm real. And um, there's got to be something else out there for you. So let's ask the cards that. What is out there in love for Talita. You know, she's having this hard time releasing her ex. Let's help Talita universe. Come on. What do you got for Talita in love? What does she have to look forward to? Oh, look, Talita. They're saying you deserve love. And um, they're giving you tips for how to attract a new partner into your life. They're saying um, you attract romantic love by, by enjoying this moment fully. So they want you to be grounded in the present Focus on what's in front of you. Stop and smell the roses. Maybe travel somewhere. Broaden your horizons. That seems to be a theme that's coming up for everyone right now. And they're saying you deserve love, true love. And that's what is coming into your life. And to be ready to attract this into your life. I think it may be coming sooner than you think. And then you won't even th be thinking about your ex anymore. <laughs> so I hope that that helps you, Talita. I'm sending you so much love and light. I completely understand um, your situation. Okay. The lunar eclipse in Leo. That's a really good question, man. I haven't even been keeping up with astrology. There's so much going on, huh? I can, I can really feel the energy. So, um, with this shift, so basically he'll always got something to say. You're wondering what will the lunar eclipse in Leo bring into my life? Let's see, what will the lunar eclipse in Leo bring into your life? What will the lunar eclipse in Leo bring into your life? Ooh, 
a harvest maybe a boyfriend i don't know <laughs> um i'm definitely seeing like some intimacy like clo- like if you're in a relationship then i'm seeing more intimacy if you're not i'm definitely seeing perhaps you might meet someone and there's just like this big harvest coming i do feel like for you it's harvest time like you've been working on these projects you've had these plans you you've planted these seeds and i feel like there's things that are coming to fruition for you so um let's go ahead and pull some more cards for what the new moon in leo will bring into your life Life as a clarifier. Synthesis. So there's like this process you're going to be going through and you're probably already feeling it. Um, they're wanting you to trust the process. Trust the process. And then something about forgiveness. I feel like you're going to get to this whole new level where you're no longer carrying the past into the present. I feel like the, the new, the this whole thing, in, it's not the new moon. I keep saying the new moon. Um, the lunar eclipse in Leo is going to bring you this new place of forgiveness where you're going to be able to not carry so much anger with you and um, not so much regret. Um, you're basically leaving a lot of baggage behind and it's like a whole fresh start for you. So it's very significant for you, I see. So um, trust the process seems to be a big message for you. So I hope that that helps. I want, I'm, that's a good question to ask. I think after this, I might pull, you know, actually right now, I'm just going to pull some cards for that for myself, if you guys don't mind. What is the lunar eclipse in Leo going to bring for me and everyone else who's watching? It's a good question. Oh, they, I'm so glad that my reading was spot on for you, Heal Always. Um, please keep me updated. <laughs> Okay, so what is the lunar eclipse in Leo going to bring for me and for everyone else who's watching this? Just because I'm curious. Tarot can be really fun. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> so this is the card that's saying, like, leaving difficult times behind gracefully. So we have this new ability to to leave these difficult times behind gracefully. This is a card that's basically saying that smoother waters are ahead. So that's exciting. <laughs> and then um, this is saying that there's a new path for us to take. So it seems like a lot of us are being called to a new path now. You take a new path. That was what my reading was about today on my Instagram. I don't know if you guys read my latest post, but um, it was all about taking like a new path and like choosing a new path. So... That seems to be what the lunar eclipse is about for all of us. Are you guys feeling like choosing some kind of new path? I definitely am. Yes, and Tinky's saying, Tinky says, woo, here's to us leaving and letting go. So um, I'm going to answer more of your questions, you guys. This, this works out perfectly for me. I go live every day. Um, and soon I'll be going live in all different time zones as I travel. But I do this just so I can get my juices flowing. I figure we can help each other out. You guys help me get tapped in, and I help you answer your questions. And then after this, I go and do all the personal readings that everyone has purchased. So it works out perfectly. <laughs> Dare Bear says, what's your zodiac sign? Um, I'm an Aquarius, obviously. <laughs> just kidding but yeah i am totally an aquarius um i really identify hardcore like every time i read my um horoscope or, or read things about aquarius i'm just like that's me and my sun signs an aquarius and my moon signs an aquarius so i've got and my north node is an aquarius so i have and i have a ton of aquarius in my chart so I'm just hardcore, like, psychic Aquarius person over here, just being all Aquarius. I love people. I love connecting. Um, I'm very extroverted, um, but I'm also kind of nerdy and very introverted as well. I need, like, a lot of time to recharge. I, it's, I like to keep people at a distance. <laughs> That's why connecting with people over the internet works out really well for me. <laughs> I can kind of have my space, but also, like, be extroverted, so I love it. Anyways, tangent, I'm an Aquarius. Um, 
Janelle, you're wanting help for your job? Okay, let's see what the angels have to say about your job. Your job situation for Janelle. Expectancy. Maybe you're worried like if you're going to get a job or something or if it's going to work out and they're saying expect. Yeah. So you're wondering if you're going to get a job. Um, they're saying expect it, like expect it to come. Maybe they're trying to give you like a manifestation chip, uh, tip because sometimes when you worry, it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy because that is energy that goes out and can block you from manifesting your desires. Now, if something is for you, it's for you. It's going to come to you no matter how hard you worry about it. But worry is just going to waste your energy and it drains you and it does create blocks. And I'm learning that. And so um, you need to be authentic. If you're worried about something, admit it to yourself, say it out loud, write about it, cry about it, dance, like try to release those fears and then like turn yourself back to the truth and remind yourself like, you know, I trust in the divine and what it has planned for me. I trust in myself and in these decisions and choices I've made. I trust that what's best for me is going to flow into my life. And if something isn't meant for me, it's, you know, then it's not going to come. That's fine. I'll just try a different path. <laughs> and, you know, I trust that just as the birds and the flowers and the trees and the plants are taken care of, so am I. And um, I'm just, I guess basically what's flowing through right now is like affirmations are really going to help you with your manifestation. You're trying to manifest a job, uh, like a, one that's really going to fit you and suit you and pay all your bills and everything. Maybe you're kind of in a desperate situation and they're saying um, you need to expect success and um, you've got no choice but to surrender <laughs> and expect the best. And, you know, when you're screwed, it's a really good time to practice manifesting when, you know, and I think it's kind of fun sometimes when life falls apart and you're in this desperate situation and you've got to um you know you can practice manifesting then so google the law of attraction google manifestation google how to manifest money and start researching and find a way to put your mind to it um it's all in your head um and there are ways that you can manifest money and you can manifest this job. So expect success is what they're saying. So, all right, Janelle, I hope that helps. I'm feeling like you're going to, you're going to get this. Like this is part of your path. Like you're supposed to learn something from this. That's all I'm, that's what I'm feeling. I, I kind of feel where you're at. I've been through it. And, um, when you come out on the other side of this, you're going to really feel a lot more, you're going to have a lot more faith in the universe. Don't forget after you get to the other side of this, don't like just move past this. Like remember to thank the universe. Remember like that it always has your back. I, I feel like there's a solution here for you and it's coming and it's really going to be a blessing. So I hope that helps Janelle. Keep me um, updated. Okay. Um, who's next? There's a lot of questions. What's up you guys? I'm excited to connect with you. Okay, Soulful Muse. Should you wait for your friend to contact you or should you try to reach out? Hmm. should reach out I think you should reach out just do it I think you should let go of expectations if you really want to do if you really want to reach out then just do it who cares like what they say or what they do that's what I'm realizing like if you want to talk to someone just talk to them you know if you want to reach out to someone just reach out and um let go of your expectations on that person and what they're going to say and what they're going to do. But I definitely feel a really strong connection between you and this person, like a soulmate connection. Remember, soulmates can also be friends. They can also be coworkers. They can also be your cousin. So soulmates aren't always like romantic partners. So yeah, it's like a soulmate of yours. So um, um, Liz in the moment says, law of attraction is lit, right? <laughs> law of attraction works. Tinky says, be straightforward in 2018. Yes, be straightforward. 
Okay, Monica Verdi says, please pull a romance card for everyone who's watching this. Thank you, Monica. I think that's really sweet that you decided to type in a question for everybody. So I'm going to honor that. And like, that's very gracious of you. And I'm going to pull romance cards right now for everyone who is watching. Thank you, Monica. This is also very much a message for you too, though. Okay. I'll pull an extra card just for you, Monica. So I'm pulling romance cards now for everyone who's watching. What is the message that you guys all need to hear right now? something about your love life being affected by children like maybe some of you guys are wanting someone to like be in a relationship with you but this person has a child with someone else or they have like a a dog or something or a cat with someone else and so it's like hard for them to like break up that whole situation and like enter into a relationship with you even if there are like mutual feelings um i'm seeing like there's this forgiving and learning card that's coming out um And it's like this time of retreat. So maybe some of you guys aren't going to be getting answers just yet when it comes to your love life. This person is kind of retreating and um, it's like you're needing to figure out what it is that you really want as you kind of forgive and learn from the situation. So um, let's go ahead and pull some more messages. If that doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. I'll pull some more. Um, For the rest of you guys, they're saying... um, True love is coming, but there's a delay, and I've been feeling a lot of delays, and I think it has to do with the eclipse. Um, I'm also seeing like um, finances and career are a factor in your love life, so they're saying don't focus on this so much that you lose touch with like your playfulness and um, your ability to go out and have fun and connect with other people and just extend your lighthearted energy. I'm also seeing, um, for some of you guys, heart-to-heart conversations are going to be happening. Um, Basically, there's um, some of you guys, I feel like this, the cards that I pulled for like you guys over here, this might apply to you because it's like some people really need to like be honest and figure out what it is that they want in a relationship, let certain things go, um, accept, uh, open your heart to other relationships and um you're saying keep an open mind like don't be so codependent i see some of you guys are still on the single journey maybe you've been single for a while but um they're saying you want to enter into a relationship for the right reasons and not just because you want someone they're saying be open like to who the universe wants to bring into your life and like true love is worth the wait and that's what this card means (laughs) true love is always worth the wait So I hope that that helps you guys. And um, Monica, I'm going to shuffle the cards and pull you a card for love. So thank you, Monica. I'm going to do another pick a card reading for love. And actually tomorrow I'm going to post my weekly love reading introduction. So keep stay tuned, you guys. More love readings are coming to the channel. Okay, Monica a card for you for love. Oh, they're saying your feelings are real and worth exploring. Maybe you kind of have feelings for someone. You're not sure like if you, if you should move forward or if it's a thing or not, they're saying it's real and worth exploring. If there's no one in the picture, then this is a sign that like, don't give up basically like continue to extend your lightheartedness to others and be open for romance because it's worth it and like your feelings are real and worth exploring so i hope that that message helps you so i'm going to do just a couple more questions but i wanted to let you guys know real quick that my love readings are on sale they're actually ten dollars off from now through the month of february for um valentine's day So um, I don't usually have um, this big of a sale. Usually I'll have a sale for a weekend or just for a day. So definitely take advantage, buy a love reading, buy a couple love readings, (laughs) whatever. And um, hit me up and support me because um, the more support I get, the more it frees me up to make um, content for you guys and to continue growing this channel. And it's really been a blessing. So um, DM me or email me and I will set your reading up for you. Okay, um, oh my gosh, Monica, you're saying that there's an Aquarius guy. All I have to say about Aquarius is that they have a really difficult time with commitment. So you're going to have to be willing to be very patient with the Aquarius guy and just be playful and they love 
freedom and adventure. So if you're adventurous, if you constantly keep them surprising, uh, like surprised, if you um, like, these are like, be yourself obviously, but these are definitely tips for Aquarius. Um, they love adventure. So anything adventurous, anything that they, that's different. Um, and I think that the thing about Aquarius is you have to be willing to be very patient, but Aquarius is very loyal. Aquarius can be very loyal. So um, once you've gotten Aquarius, like you've got them. <laughs> so I hope that helps. Okay, so <clears throat> oh, Paula says that's so me. <coughs> Excuse me, I can never commit. That's so funny. Yeah, it's hard. Like commitment's hard when you're an Aquarius. Okay, I'm reading your questions. Type questions, guys. Ask your questions. Ask me questions. Okay, um, Essential Nature says, any advice on how to face my fears? And yes, I'll pull you some cards. But guess what, you guys? I just posted a YouTube right before this. <coughs> Excuse me, I have something in my throat. <clears> throat> I just posted a YouTube right before this um, on how to face your fears. So check out my latest pick a card reading I just posted after this. But let's pull some cards for you on how to face your fears. Um, so essential nature, how to face your fears. That just wants to come up. So essential nature, <clears throat> how to face your fears. I think you really need to like follow your passion, I think is what they're saying. Like you need to really get your hands dirty and be willing to stir different pots. I feel like you need money. I feel like you're needing, you have big dreams and you need funding for the dreams. You need money. And so you're, you need to stir different pots, which means put some stuff up on eBay and sell it, you know, um, start an Etsy, like make crafts, you know, like think of ideas and like put them forward, have a yard sale, whatever. Um, you need to actually start, um, raising money and, and finding different ways, um, to use your talents and your skills in exchange for abundance and money. And like, I feel like you need to make a portfolio for something. You've been putting that off. Um, I don't know if that resonates at all, but that's, what's coming through. Um, so they're saying like, you're really hesitant to move forward, but they're saying like gratitude is going to help you as well with manifesting money. And, um, I'm going to have a whole series in March on how to, how to manifest. And I'm going to teach you guys like my little tools and tricks. Everyone kind of has their own way, but at least I'm going to teach you my way. And, um, and kind of show you guys how you can customize it. But yes, gratitude is one of the biggest tools I'm using. Every morning I just wake up and um, that's my secret for like being all rainbow harmony and stuff. I might not always wake, wake up all rainbows and butterflies and sunshine, but after I say my gratitude, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, this is awesome. I woke up here again on this amazing, incredible planet with all these like cute little animals and like these trees and these crazy flowers. And I'm going to go take a nice bath and I'm thankful for that. And I'm going to have this delicious breakfast and I'm going to go create and like, you know, channel energy and just be who I am. So I'm thankful. Like just, you got to really start remembering every day when you wake up, like who you are, um, why you're here, like what you're here to, what you want to express. And if you don't know the answers to those questions, then that's your job to figure it out and to find your truth, you know? So you're going through a lot of growth and I feel like they're telling you, you got to be really honest with yourself, um, about what it is that you want, um, as you move forward on this path and like not to be afraid or ashamed to follow your dreams, just admit it to yourself. And that's what I was talking about in my face, um, face your fears, uh, pick a card reading. I just posted on my YouTube about like just being honest with yourself and admitting what you want and following your dreams. So I feel like you're going to get some clarity as you move forward and clarity is going to help you face your fears 
and um, like the truth. Like we're talking about finding your truth here. So um, once you kind of figure out what it is you want, um, then they're like, it's time to actualize. And for me, actualize means actually do actually do something about it (laughs) for the longest time i was telling everybody i wanted to be a fashion stylist but there got there came this point where like i got so detached from that dream because all of my actions and everything i was doing was just like completely opposite of that so eventually i had to actually do something about it you know start an instagram and start posting photos of me and taking pictures with friends and doing tutorials and learning how to do makeup and going out to the city and collaborating with other artists and like you know they're saying it's time to break the break what your dreams down into um like little chunks like actual little steps of what you need to do and actually do it (laughs) so i hope that helps i know that was a lot i'm gonna post this on my youtube after so you can watch this again and kind of digest it but i hope that helps i really i really see you um moving forward with this beautiful purpose and um you're really close to kind of tapping into your truth here so i hope that helps so i'm going to answer maybe just one or two more questions Okay, Ken Rupa, you're saying, can you do a love reading for me, please? I'm at a crossroads and having a hard decision to make. Please help me. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say for you in love. <clears throat> hmm, something about attraction. Hang on. Something about you wanting to, um, like, attract a new, like, person into your life. I don't know. I'm getting the energy of this relationship that you're in that's, like, really intense. But, or that could have been from the past or something. I don't know. I just feel like this looming energy over you of, like, this relationship or something that's just like difficult for you and um they're saying to love yourself first like your self-respect makes you more attractive so a lot of this has to do about attracted attraction like trying to attract a love into your life a new love that's going to be in alignment with you and the truth of who you really are so um i'm seeing that you need to attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and i gave this message to someone earlier um you know stop and smell the roses spend time doing the things that you love i love to sing i like to dance (laughs) i'm kind of like a performer type of person so all those things you know singing dancing acting i like to write um i like to paint i love to do these youtube videos so when i'm doing that like that makes i feel like that makes me attractive because like my energy is like going towards what i love and i'm feeling happy and playful and sensual and comfortable in my own skin but when you're not doing what you love you get very detached from yourself and um you know it's okay we get busy but i'm talking like if weeks and weeks and months and years go by where you're not like indulging this part of you like it's going to be hard to feel attractive and like to remember who you are and like the truth of your essence because you're here to be creative you're here to be yourself you're not here to just work for the man and um just like live this humdrum life so i feel like you need to break your routine and that's kind of like a message for you for um, where you're at right now so i hope that that helps um i'm definitely feeling a lot of um, energy around the situation for you um let's go ahead and pull one more card for you in your relationship <laughs> little miss abundance says i've been shaking my ass today <laughs> essential nature says i love dancing yeah tell me what you guys love to do also if you guys want my support if you started like an art page or like you paint or you write and like you you instagram about it like or you have a page then um dm me and like you can ask me to follow you and i'll follow you and support you and like your stuff so i like connecting with my followers so and i want to encourage you guys to like just start your freaking page and like put up your blog or like you know post your music or whatever just do it and like i'll follow you guys and support you so just dm me and let me know and i'll try to follow you when i have a chance um there's one more message coming out for you on education 
like you're needing to make this big decision on like whether or not you should go in like one direction or another and i feel like this is the path you should choose if that makes sense so i hope that helps oh janelle says i like to paint <laughs> okay uh, Silent Eyes says, you are amazing and very supportive. Dude, I'm like only like this because you guys are so supportive to me. I wake up every day to like hundreds of comments of people being like, you're amazing. Thank you so much. And, and like telling me all this nice stuff about myself and like calling me an angel. And so like, I don't know. I love it. The least I can do is like support you guys because you support me. You're supporting me and what I do. I started this in the beginning and was really alone posting videos and just like taking a sleep of faith, but it connected me with all of you guys and it was so worth it. So I have a lot to be thankful for. I, like I'm basically just paying back all the love and light that you guys send my way every day. So it's a beautiful energy exchange. Paula, Chris, Jane, any messages for me? Let's see. Paula, Chris, Jane, any messages for you? It's, they're saying right now you need to, to gather all of your tools and materials and supplies like that you need to move forward next. It's time for you to like gather all your stuff, kind of take inventory and like really like hold your ground and hold space for like something that you're trying to manifest. For instance, sometimes I get booked to style a photo shoot, okay? And then I basically have to gather all of my tools and all the supplies and book the model and like get the shoes and like, you know, scout the location and like pray and like set intentions and like, you know, spend time visualizing, making mood boards and like getting ready to go bam and like put all this energy forth and like for this one day of like creating this beautiful photo shoot and getting, you know, pictures published. And so I feel like you're kind of doing, you're in a process of something like that where you need to kind of like, you know what you want, but it's time to like gather the tools and supplies and materials and like really hold the space and energy and focus, make the mood boards and plan to make all of it come together. So um, let's see what advice they have to you for that. Uh, Janelle says, I like fashion too. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed, you guys. And I'm always talking about it as an example because I just want you all to know that if the universe conspired to help me follow my dream of being a fashion stylist, then the universe is going to conspire to help you with your dream, no matter what it is. Okay, so they're telling you that like you have the power. It's time for you to like exercise your power and actualize. Actually do. <laughs> That's a huge message I've been getting for everybody today is to actualize and actually do something about it. Actually move forward. Time for us to, to do something, right? To make it happen. Okay, Kanjin, what do you want? <laughs> Kanjin, what's your question? <laughs> Kanjan. I'm looking for your question, Kanjan. Okay, can you tell me something about my love life? Okay, Kanjan, I see you now. I'll answer your question. <laughs> Kanjan posted, why don't you answer my question? And she put like a cry face because she put, I just scrolled up and saw she wrote like a million questions. Um, I think that they're telling you that if there's someone in your life that you're having a hard time making a decision about like whether or not you should be with them or whatever, why not try like going on a little trip or like a little vacation with them and seeing like how the vibes flow between you and them and like what it's like if you travel with them or go to the beach with them or go um, just visit like another place with them. And I feel like you're going to be able to make your decision. Um, I see like this is something that's needed. If you're in a relationship and you're wondering whether or not you should break up with this person i'm kind of feeling like yeah a message is to kind of get away and you, you need like a break you need like a retreat and it will help you make up your mind so i hope that that message helps and resonates that's what's coming out for you and you're welcome you're welcome kanjan <laughs> okay um Jan janeth can you, you're saying, can I get a love reading? Janeth eight, underscore 18. Can I get a love reading? Yeah, my, my love cards are right here. Why not? 
very soon. Oh crap, look at this. They're saying you need to decide what you want when it comes to love so it comes to you. Do you just want like a fling? Are you just looking for some fun? Do you want a serious committed relationship? Are you looking for something long term? Um, do you want someone who's tall, dark and handsome? Or do you want someone who's like blonde and athletic? I don't know. Tell the universe what you want. Like, be detailed about it. Manifest this into your situation. They're telling you to flirt because I feel like they're telling you you're going to hook up with someone really soon. So they're saying extend your lighthearted energy to others and flirt. Why not? There's some type of um, relationship or fling or something right around the corner for you. So be excited about that. <laughs> I hope that helps. All right, you guys, I have to take off because I have a lot of love readings to do. It is my goal to finish everybody's love readings by this weekend. So if you've been waiting for a love reading, thanks for being patient. And um, I have a couple more spots left. If you would like a love reading, um, just hit me up. Go ahead and email me or DM me here on Instagram. And my love readings are $10 off. So they're only 33.33 right now. Um, but feel free to interact with me live for free. And I have free videos on my YouTube too. And um, I'm all about free stuff and giving, you, giving back all the love and light you guys are sending my way. So thank you guys. Bye. Peace out.